Haymaker, any light can be hard or soft depending on two things. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I'm a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. What do I mean by hard or soft light? Well, it's all in the shadows and any light can be hard or soft depending on two things the size and the distance of the light in relation to your product and setup. Let me show you. For the sake of this video, I am using a single artificial light setup. I would like a controlled lighting environment so that I can show you how the small modifications to your light can make a huge impact on your overall results. So this light source is a small light source in comparison to the actual product in the overall setup. So you will notice that it is creating hard defined shadows of our product and our props. If I lower the light, you will see the shadows will get longer. If I raise the light, the shadows will get shorter. This is hard light. Remember, it's all in the shadows. So when you have hard defined shadows, we call that hard light. Now, any light can be hard or soft depending on two things. We already talked about the size. This is a small light source in comparison to our product and our setup. Distance also plays a role. So we already have a tiny light source. If we take this light source and we move it further away, the shadows are going to get more defined. Let's talk about the sun quick and natural light. So the sun is a huge, huge, huge light source, right? So in your head, you may think, okay, this light source is so big. It's much larger than my product and my setup. Nope. It's so far away so far away it actually becomes teeny tiny in comparison to your product and setup and that's why on a bright sunny day you will see hard defined shadows so we have a small light source here our sun is considered a small light source because it's so far away so how do we create soft light more often than not you're going to create soft light with diffusion this is a diffuser. A diffuser is a transparent material that allows light to pass through and scatter. When light passes through a diffuser and scatters all over the place, it actually makes the appearance of the light larger, causing the shadows to soften. This here is a really large diffuser. And the larger your diffuser is, the bigger potential to create softer shadows. So we're going to take this diffuser and we're going to put it in between our light source and our setup. We want to put it right up against our setup. Because remember, perception, distance plays a factor. So we want this diffusion layer to be right up against our setup. And just look how those shadows soften. Take it back out. Hard defined shadows. We're going to add that layer of diffusion in. And watch them melt away. So we took the small light source and we made the appearance of the small light source larger with diffusion. Now keep in mind, you do need to have some space between your light and the diffusion layer. If I take this light and I move it closer, look how hard my shadows get again, because there's not enough spread of light 
to soften the shadow. See that specular kind of look on the diffuser? You want to pull that light away and create, let it scatter throughout the whole diffusion layer so that you can create softer shadows. Now, you might be wondering how hard or soft should the shadows be? That's up to you. That's where creativity comes into play. Something to consider. Shadows create depth and dimension. So if your product has a lot of texture, having a very soft shadow will help bring out that detail. Shadows also help make our products look a little dimensional instead of flat in a photo. So my recommendation is you always want to have a little bit of a shadow so it doesn't look like your product or props are floating. Now, when you look in the camera view, you will notice that we have more light on this side than we do over here. This is because we have one light source and this light source is somewhat emulating the sun. So to kind of even out the light, we want to use the reflection opposite of the light. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the reflector in. I am using replica surfaces, but an inexpensive option is just white foam board for reflection. Let me take that out. We're gonna watch inside the camera as we fill in that light with reflection. Now a five in one diffuser is not the only way to make the appearance of this small light larger to soften the shadows. We can also use what is called a soft box. So I'm gonna attach this soft box to the light and you'll notice the front of this soft box has a layer of diffusion on it. One thing to keep in mind, this soft box is much smaller than the diffusion layer I just showed you. So it's not going to soften the shadows as much as the diffuser from the five and one did. Soft box on, soft box off. Soft box on, and I'm going to permanently attach it. And we're gonna move it a little closer and I'm gonna level it out a bit. So by adding this soft box, we were able to increase the perceived size of the light source, softening the shadows. As I mentioned before though, you will notice because this diffuser is smaller than the five in one diffuser, the soft box did not soften the shadows as much as the five in one. Let's go ahead and add our layer of reflection so that we can fill light in opposite to help even out our light source. Now, depending on the type of light that you're using, sometimes we may need to add additional reflection to the front of our setup just slightly to help fill light in on the front of our product. So in the camera, you'll notice that the front of the mug is a little dark. So we're gonna add a little bit more reflection onto the front. So no reflection, reflection, no reflection, reflection. And that's gonna help us fill in a little bit of the light on the front side. Now you know the difference between hard and soft light. It's all in the shadows. Small light sources, lights smaller than your setup, create hard defined shadows. Really big light sources like the sun that are really far away become small in relation to your setup, creating hard defined shadows as well. If you're ready to learn more about light and how to properly light your product photos, join me inside of my live five day challenge, Light. Inside of Light, I teach you how to evaluate, diagnose, and cure your crummy light symptoms no matter the problems you face. 
To learn more, click the link up here, or you can grab the link in the description below. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high-quality product photos. See you next time.